Sarah here from Singer's Advice. Well, happy World Voice Day. The British Voice Association's theme this year is make the right choice for your voice. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna help you make the right choice for your singing voice. For the best tips and advice on becoming the greatest singer you can be, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Thursday. <coughs> Having a healthy vocal practice is absolutely key. So what I mean by that is looking after your voice. So having a good warm up, having good vocal technique, and just really taking care of your instrument because it is so important to learn and continue to learn about singing and about vocal technique and develop your vocal technique. Because if you respect your voice and you give it the commitment and the dedication that it needs and that it requires and that it deserves, then you will be giving it the best chance to be as healthy and to be as wonderful as it can possibly, possibly be. Hydration, hydration, hydration. You've probably heard me say this before, but drinking water is so important for singers and anyone that uses their voice for their job, you have to keep hydrated. Keep those vocal folds lubricated so they can work happily and healthily. So make sure you are drinking water throughout the day and just stay, stay healthy. It's great for your body and your mind. You know, it's gonna keep everything working and that is exactly what you need for keeping a healthy voice. Comment below on something that you do to keep your voice healthy. <coughs> Exercise is so important for your body and for your singing voice. It's gonna get oxygen around your body. It connects your body and to your voice, you know, sometimes we don't think enough about the whole body, but the holistic approach to singing. You know, we have to look at how fit we are actually comes through into how amazing our voice sounds. You're gonna get better stamina. You're gonna just have more energy. You're gonna be a much better singer because you are healthy as a person. So exercise is so important for singers. It's gonna help you with that core stability that you need, your posture, everything. <coughs> Making healthy eating choices and drinking choices. So looking after what you eat, what you put in your body fuels how you feel and how you are. So if you're just eating junk all the time, you're probably gonna feel like junk and your voice is gonna sound like junk too. <laughs> so really look after what you eat, yeah? Really be mindful of it. If you eat foods that nourish your body, hydrate your body, that are good for your body, then you are gonna have lots of energy, you are gonna feel good, your voice is gonna feel good, because you do have to be mindful of the things you eat. Watch your dairy intake because it can make more mucus in your voice, which you're gonna be clearing your throat all the time. You're not gonna want that while you're singing. So keeping clean is a good way to think about it. And just be careful about the amount you eat before you're gonna sing as well, because it's gonna be heavy on your stomach and you need that area to be working while you're singing. Choose options that will nourish your body and your voice. So watching out for those acid reflux triggers like caffeine, spicy foods, citrus fruits, alcohol. Really watch that alcohol intake and absolutely do not smoke. <coughs> Take care of your stress and anxiety levels. Stress and anxiety, if you're feeling it, your voice is gonna be affected by it. It just is, believe me, I know. <laughs> it is really important as a singer 
as a person, as anybody, to really look after your well-being, your holistic well-being. So looking after your mind, your body and your soul. So maybe doing things like meditating, being mindful, taking time for yourself to really look after yourself. Because if you don't look after you, your voice will not be the best that it can be. So just take some time for yourself, maybe do some Reiki or have some Reiki done to you. Reflexology, holistic therapies are fantastic for this kind of thing. Reducing stress, reducing anxiety, grounding you, bringing you back to a balance, getting your energies balanced. This will all help with your vocal health. Don't overuse or abuse your voice. So just being really mindful of how you use your voice, when you use your voice, and how much you use your voice. This goes for speaking as well as singing. So if you're in an environment that's noisy and you're speaking over the top of that noise, you're gonna be damaging your voice because you're straining, you're overusing it in a way that isn't necessary for a prolonged period of time. And you're gonna to start to notice things are not right. Overusing your voice, shouting and bad vocal technique can all cause vocal damage. That's why it's important to have a voice coach to help you and guide you to use your voice in a healthy way. If you ever suffer with vocal problems, please get help. Don't just stay with it and think, what's going on? Go to your GP, get them to refer you to a voice specialist who can help you, who can have a look, see what's going on and get you back on the right track. Make sure you take rest periods when you are not speaking or singing and absolutely do not whisper because this can cause more vocal trauma to your vocal folds. So do not whisper. I know you might think that you're helping because you're whispering, but you're not. Just keep stum, mm, zip it, nothing. There's my six tips for making the right choice for your voice. And if you would like three fantastic exercises to help you on your way, then you can get those right here. I have some free training, which is three exercises to help you with your vocal pitching, your vocal range and your vocal power and the link to that is right below this video. Thanks for joining me and if you like this video please like it, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Happy World Voice Day! Take care of those wonderful wonderful voices, it's your instrument and it is the most important thing to keep it healthy and happy. And I will see you again soon at Singer's Advice.